Okay, so what's going on guys? This is a video quickly on how to add a drop down menu in New Blocks 2.0. So recently what you're able to do in the old blocks version is simply go to the nav bar setting, click on an element and pretty much just make it make it a drop down pretty much. There was a little option underneath um, what it did and uh, the the controls, what you want to do and just click open drop down where it uh, just put four drop down things in and you can edit them. Uh, yeah, it was quite simple to do. Now it's got a little bit tricky, but it's more it's easier to adjust what appears in them, and it's a lot better. So first of all, we want to just add in your menu like this. You want to go on Menu Manager, click this button here. This opens up a little window like this. So first of all, what you want to do is click on the little thing here for the. I'll do that again. Just this little like properties menu, if you like. Um, so what you want to do is so title. This is the home thing here, the name for this. Uh, go on Type, Open Menu. And then you have to select another menu. We haven't got another menu yet. So what we're going to do is create another menu. So to do this, we just click on select and add new menu. We can call this menu uh, drop down. And there we go. So drop down's now been made. Uh, we've got a new link called new link. Uh, we'll change that to link one. And now if we go back into primary menu, go on home it will open the menu drop down click save close the menu manager now if we preview in browser we can see now we can click on this and it opens up our menu with link what only link one in it and of course it's really easy to edit this you can click back on here and you've got menu manager and you can simply change any links you want to appear in the drop down you can have as many as you want you can have as many as you want in here as well all these have different functions so if you, if you look in the browser again, you can see you've got loads of links here. You can also edit where these links go. It's very, very straightforward. So you can go on to here, drop down, simply edit where they go. You can go to anywhere. You can navigate to URL. You can open another menu. Let's open a menu within a menu. Let's see what that looks. This is going to be weird. It may cause a crash. So we can't open a menu within a menu. That would be pretty stupid, actually. I uh, don't know why you want to do that, but it causes a crash anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all. All there really is. I'll uh, yeah, you can see it's crashed. Oh no, my knob. Oh no, we're back. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, we can do a menu within a menu. That's pretty cool. Uh, so you can do a menu with a menu actually. And uh, not sure you'd want to. It doesn't look very pretty. Uh, but you can do if you want to. If you really want to, if you need to have a menu within a menu, you can do. I recommend only doing the one menu. Uh, not a personal fan of the drop downs, to be honest, but in Bootstrap, but there you go. It's there if you want it. A uh, guy actually requested this video on Twitter, he tweeted me, and uh, here it is for this guy. If you want any more videos, tweet me, leave it in the comment section, something like that, and I'll make the videos. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, just a little thing. What easy ones you know how, but it can be quite daunting. to took me 10 minutes to figure it out myself, uh, but once, of course, I went in here and saw that you could go on to open drop down, open menu, and all that, that was good, and I figured it out straight away. So that's all for this video guys, and I'll see you guys in another video, bye bye.